I feel like making everything is a challenge. Like, mm -hmm. I feel like it's, it's harder to reach a bigger audience because a lot of times people, uh, people like they yeah, latch like, on to something like an artist, a specific genre, a specific, genre, specific yeah. sound, you know? And so making all sorts of things, it's been kind of a grind. It's been, it's, it's been hard, you know, people, um, they, they want something to latch on to, but I feel like over the past like two years or so, I feel like me making a little bit of everything, I feel like they, they finally can see that I can do it all, but I can still kind of have my flavor to it all. You know what I mean? So that, it's been a challenge, but I think I've uh, paved a good- Figured it out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> kind of figured it out, you know? What's up guys, it's Celine here from Sidewall Talk and today I am with Roman Silver. How's it going? <laughs> um, so we're out here and we're to start off with your background and I heard you grew up in the IE. Or I did, yeah. In the Empire. How mm -hmm. was that like growing up? Yeah, I mean, honestly there was not much to do out there. I think that's kind of why I turned to music to be honest. So um, yeah, no, it, uh, it was alright. <laughs> it's just... It's hot, you know? It's very... I actually went to UCR for two oh, years. okay. So I also lived in the Inland Empire and yeah. there's nothing to do out there. <laughs> yeah, well actually I'm living out there again now. I, I moved back because I was in Orange County um, okay. for the last five years and then I moved back to the IE. I, I kind of like it out there. A lot of my family's out there. So, mm -hmm. yeah. What city are you in? Uh, right now I'm uh, in Marietta. Oh, yeah. okay. So, uh, well, that's where I grew up as well. So I'm in, I mean... It's cool. But, yeah. You know. I feel like it's very suburbs, like nothing to do except oh, yeah. go to house parties and yeah, you know, drink. <laughs> but it's kind of like my vibe. Like, I, for some reason, like I liked Orange County and I like LA, but I don't know what it is. I just kind of like how peaceful it is out there, you know, and mm. the streets are just, you know, wide open streets as opposed to the craziness and like the compact streets of city life yeah. you know what I mean so that is true yeah but what kind of music did you listen to growing up um growing up I listened to all sorts of stuff uh, I was mainly listening to whatever like my brother was listening to older or younger he's older he's older, five yeah. years older yeah oh, wow. and um he we we had like a shared computer and like I would always be on uh you know we had the same iTunes account and I'd be like what, what's he listening to and it would always be like so random it would be like it'd be like 50 cent and like Lincoln oh. Park or something you know and it was just all over the place but uh yeah so that I just kind of listened to a bit of everything you know and how did you start getting into music yeah so I was um well I was like playing instruments you know and my parents played what instruments, instruments. Did you play? i played like the, i played piano and i played uh the guitar and stuff i mean nothing crazy but um yeah my mom was like pretty good she still is really good at piano i could never be as good as her but uh oh so you can't you came from a musical background yeah i mean a little bit yeah i mean it wasn't like too serious like they put me in lessons and to be honest like i hated it i hated it for so long and um and then what happened was uh like a few years into it, I just, I, I asked if I could like play music that I want to play. So I would mm -hmm. bring her like these, like a list, that, I'm talking about my piano teacher here. I bring her a list of like bands and like uh. artists that I like, and she would go and buy the, uh, the sheet music and then we would just uh, practice that. And then that's when I really started liking it, you know. And, it's a very supportive uh, piano teacher. Oh yeah, she was awesome, yeah. Wow. And, uh, so that's what I would do and then I didn't really uh, I mean pr producing and whatnot that came later but I was uh, yeah I, I went to this school and they had uh, a bunch of like uh, Apple computers mm -hmm. and and uh, they had GarageBand and so that's I was just like man this is awesome you know I got all into GarageBand and my friends my friends were like better than me I was always pissed off I was like man they can make these crazy beats you know we, <laughs> we were in like fifth grade you know so. <laughs> and just kept it going and so went. your parents did support you going into the music industry a little bit yeah mm -hmm. i mean i think 
N honestly, like it, it's hard to say because I, f I feel like they they knew it's kind of like a risky thing, you mm -hmm. know? And so I could tell that they were like, oh, like, yeah, music, but like, you know, have that backup plan, like do some, maybe do something else, you know? And uh, they, they weren't really that supportive, honestly, for a long oh. time until fairly recently. Like, I feel like they still kind of are just like, what is, what are you doing again like you're a what a, sounds like my parents yeah because yeah. they you know a lot of people they're just like oh a dj you know you're just a dj like that's what mm -hmm. it is you know that's what they think you know yeah and like i get it you know but yeah i mean once they see you know money coming in then they're like okay okay i get <laughs> this it this is a job <laughs> yeah it's a job i get you it you do now. this for work <laughs> yeah so that's really what it takes you know but you mentioned your mom was in music, but what does your dad do? Well, m both my parents are photographers, so oh, yeah, it's so all I'm, creative. Yeah, I grew up in a in a family of like, yeah, I mean, they're they're all like creatives, you know. But um, I I thought about getting into photography, but it just was never my thing, really, mm -hmm. you know, because they they have a business and they've been doing it since the '80s, you know. But um, yeah, photography just wasn't my thing, but. Yeah, they, they uh, that's what they do, and yeah, it's fun stuff, you know? Yeah, getting into music, I know you were with Monster Cat first, and you're with Bitbird? Uh, Bitbird now? came first, actually. Oh, Bitbird was first. Yeah, Bitbird was first. I started working with Bitbird around 2018, I think, or maybe it might have been 2017, I don't know. But yeah, I, I released this one song on there, and then, um, Ever since that, ever since then, they've just been really like putting me on everything, like from shows to, you know, doing EPs, and then um, that's kind of how I established myself, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. And then Monster Cat came around, and that was amazing. And uh, yeah, now it's like, where next? You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I think I still want to work with all of them. I love them all. I love Bitbird. I love Monster Cat. Um, yeah, so we'll see. Yeah. Did you start getting into music seriously in like 2017, 18? Oh no, I mean I've been in it a long time. That's that's one thing that a lot of people uh, actually probably don't know about me is, um, I mean I've been doing this thing since, I think the, the Roman Silver project itself was made 2014 and by mm -hmm. then I was already pretty serious about it, you know, but um, yeah, I almost mean, almost ten years. Almost ten years. Yeah, yeah, but but I was already like making music and like super dedicated, like before that. So I'd say I've been pretty pretty serious about it for like ten plus years. Wow. Yeah, and I but I was just like dropping remixes and stuff, you know, like yeah, it wasn't anything too crazy. I didn't really know what I was doing. I was just having a good time, you know. And where would you say a lot of your like most of your inspiration comes from? Because I know your music is very dynamic. Yeah. Yeah, that is true. And, you know, that question always, uh, it's always a hard one to answer because, like, you know, people are like, oh, how do you, like, um, where's your, your influences? Like, where do they come from? Or, like, how would you describe your sound? But it's honestly kind of all over the place. Like, um, I like everything. I listen to everything. Most of the time, I'm not really listening to, you know, dance music. I feel like a lot of times I'm listening to, like, I don't know, like hip hop. I listen mm. to a lot of hip hop and uh, indie stuff as well. So, um, yeah, just a little bit of everything, you know? Okay. <laughs> and what would you say were some of the challenges that you faced? Mm. Well, I think, uh, I think going back to the last question, I feel like that is one of the biggest challenges. I feel like, I feel like making everything is a challenge like mm -hmm. I feel like it's it's harder to reach a bigger audience because a lot of times people uh, people like they yeah, latch like on to something like an a artist specific genre a specific genre specific yeah. sound you know and so making all sorts of things it's been kind of a grind it's been it's it's been hard you know people um, they, they want something to latch on to but I feel like over the past like two years or so I feel like me making a little bit of everything. I feel like they, they finally can see that I can do it all, but I can still kind of have my flavor to it all. You know what I mean? So that, it's been a challenge, but I think I've uh, paved a good- Figured it out. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> kind of figured it out, you know? What is, so I know when you create your songs, you go mm -hmm. through a whole process from start to finish. Can you talk more about your 
songwriting process and just the songwriting process yeah so i would say um like lately it's usually been working around something usually it's like working around a vocal i feel mm. like um i mean it, it's always kind of different but definitely like if i have something to work with it, it's easier for me to come up with ideas like if i have a, a vocal and a lot of people think like it's the other way around it should be like the beat first then someone like writes a vocal on top mm. of it but like i kind of like working uh you know the other way we're in reverse where i have a vocal and then i start writing some you know maybe some drums and then then like some chords or whatever you know it's fun that way how long does it usually take for you to go from start to finish uh well i think i i think my best songs in my opinion take relatively short i feel oh. like oh yeah super fast i feel like those are the best ones i feel like the ones that i could finish in like a weekend are oh, just wow. like the best like my favorite songs ever and then the ones that drag out and take forever to finish mm. are just like just like constant like listening over and fixing this and fixing that you know those are the ones that are kind of like eh, you know yeah. but yeah so okay. it, it could it could take me a weekend and it could take me uh six months or longer six months. There, there are some songs <gasps> that I, yeah there's some songs i have that have taken two years to finish. two years two maybe even three years like there's songs that i'm working on right now that were an idea a long time ago and we're I, going through a forest yeah we're going through we're a, going through a, a <laughs> yeah sorry <laughs> okay sorry yeah. what were you saying well yeah um yeah some songs like are just ideas that i've had over the years and mm -hmm. i just keep just keep chipping away at it you know sometimes it's a dead end you know i'm just like this is never gonna be anything <gasps> but sometimes they they turn out to be cool so so you mentioned that the songs that took you the least time were your favorites like what are your favorite what are your favorite tracks that you've Created. my favorite tracks i think are let's see i i did uh I, I honestly it's probably like some of my remixes i did a remix for uh this this guy mind chatter okay. and that one is like one of my favorites and that one i finished like super quick it was it well i had an idea and that one i scrapped and then i started uh -huh. completely over because i was like i want to do this remix i like mind chatter and I finished it in like two days wow. and it was like one of my favorite songs ever so that one and then uh probably some of my other remixes the, I feel like remixes just come like super quick like you know? yeah sounds like it. it's all the yeah. remixes for you yeah and uh that's just yeah I, I feel like if I'm if I'm doing a song and I can finish it real quick I know it's gonna be a good one you know do you have any upcoming collabs or releases you're excited about so right now I have some things i'm working on but i i don't actually have anything set to release because i'm working on an album which i hope to do sometime next year but i have, I have like a a remix that i'm doing and that'll probably come out uh, i think next month but other than that like i'm saving i'm trying to save everything for this album i've been telling people i'm gonna do the album can you tell us more about the album? Well, uh, maybe. I mean, <laughs> it's very early. It's very yeah. early on. I have a few songs that are like for sure going to be on there, um, but it's 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 still in the early stages. I, it's just hard because like in this day and age, it's like people are like, oh, you have to like keep the momentum. And right now, you mm -hmm. know, the momentum is good. And if I stop releasing, it's kind of like. Uh oh, you know that. Yeah, and you know it's it's hard, you know. But I feel like I'm looking past it all, and I'm just trying to hold on to these songs that I know are really good for the album. I know it'll be a good fit, mm. you know. So, but it's a process, you know. I've never done an album. I've only done EPs, oh. and uh, yeah, I mean, so it, it, it's it's a process, you know. Do you have like a consistent theme or genre you're going for? Or is it kind of okay? Yeah, kind of. This time around, I, I definitely kind of do. Uh, because yeah i mean it's hard to just throw everything in one project you know just mm -hmm. have like a mix of everything i i would love to do that and it's still going to be pretty like diverse but it, it's gonna definitely have like a cohesive oh. theme to it yeah do you have a name for it yet no <laughs> maybe <laughs> still <laughs> maybe. thinking about it no i i kind of do but it's like yeah because it's like a, it's gonna be like a conceptual album oh. you know? yeah so it's got it's got a cool theme to it. I do have some Exciting. ideas. Yeah. 
And have you gone back to play at any festivals yet? I saw on your Twitter that you did a show, but not yeah. a festival. Which one? Uh, the last was... one? I, I just played, where did I play? I played Arizona. Okay. I played Arizona last week, and then um, I have Bonnaroo coming up. Yeah, I saw that yeah. you in Bonnaroo soon. Bonnaroo is going to be fun. Yeah, that's technically, that's my first festival. It was supposed to be Electric Forest. That was going to be my first festival that I played. Obviously. Since COVID. Yeah. But I, I'm pretty sure I'm still playing that next year. I, I'm pretty sure. Ooh. So, um, and then I got some other shows, and I'm also doing a, a tour with mm. somebody, but... I can't say it yet, but I'm doing a tour with Soon someone. Soon to be announced. Yeah, someone I, I really admire, so oh, wow. I'll be on their tour. It's a lot of upcoming things. Yep. Do you feel like you're back into the grind of things, or is it kind of fast paced for you, or yeah. after COVID life, I guess, I don't know. I think I'm naturally like a person who likes to be um, in a slower paced environment as it is. Hence is, the suburbs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know why I picked uh, music as a, career but yeah here I am I think uh, no I, I think it's fun yeah and it, it is fast-paced and I, I feel like it, the grind is real but mm -hmm. um, you know I'm hanging in there I think once I like the next big run of shows I have they might get to me though we'll see <laughs> you know yeah I feel like after COVID I felt like the things I was doing before COVID mm -hmm. and doing the same things now I'm just so much more tired yeah it's just so much more energy and I'm just like where did I have this energy before I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't know what it is, but it's like COVID just like changed everything. It's just like the way yeah. we live life. Yeah. Do you think festivals are here to stay or do you think they're going to go back into That's a good question. lockdown because of Delta? I don't know. I think, uh, I think they're here to stay. Mm. Well, actually, I, I take that back. I think it could, I feel like if anything's going to get like postponed or like canceled it's going to be festivals it's going to be mm -hmm. shows i feel like everything else might like kind of like stay open you know i feel like life is going to continue yeah but you know the one thing is that like a festival that you know that's a big deal you know that's a lot of people so did you go to hard summer this past weekend no i didn't i, I was gonna go i i had a ticket but i was in arizona um the night before yeah i i, I was gonna go because um do you know who Bikla is? I did not. Bikla is an artist. He's from Russia, and Ooh. so we did it. We did a song, um, my last EP. He's he's phenomenal. He's so good. I love his music, and he was supposed to play Hard Summer, but uh, oh. yeah, like he said, the he he couldn't get a uh, an interview with the embassy to get his visa, oh, so shit. he had to back out. So I, I was tough. yeah. That's why I didn't go. I was gonna go, but it was just to support him, you know. Yeah. Um, anything you're excited for in the upcoming Let's works see. or future? Oh yeah, I got tons of stuff I'm excited for, yeah. I mean, um, like I said, the album, you know, still in the early stages. Uh, music videos, that's Ooh. my thing, yeah, that's my thing. It's like, I, I feel like my music especially is, um, it, it's like complemented really well with the visual component to it, you know? I'm very like big on aesthetic and mm -hmm. and you know that's why like the the art that i have for a lot of my stuff is very like cohesive and i, I like really cool things like that so the music videos i want to make sure it fits with the project and mm -hmm. i want to have a really good visual piece you know yeah i heard uh, you're quite a chef <laughs> random like yeah maybe i'm like a really big foodie that's why i was just like oh he okay. likes to cook like i he, like to cook yeah you used to work in restaurants right i used to i used to work I mean, I've worked plenty of restaurants. Yeah, actually, I. So the last job I had, right before I moved from Orange County, so I moved away and I said, I'm I'm done working music full time, and oh. I could finally do it. You know, it, it took me a while, but um, yeah, I was working at uh, a uh, Shabu restaurant. Which one? In OC. In OC. Which yeah. one? Uh, Tabu Shabu. Oh Shout out yeah, Tabu I've Shabu. been. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, obviously, there's no cooking there. I didn't, I didn't cook, you but slice like, the meat. yeah, I just like prep food and stuff. And it was so much fun. Like, the thing is, like, I, although like jobs suck, there have been some jobs that have like, for one, they they taught me a ton of shit. You know, like how to grind hard, how to show up on time, how to just like, you know, just mm -hmm. just be a person and like, you know, and show up and yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, because like, I don't know, some people just like. 
I don't even want to get into it. But all, all I'm saying is, I, I appreciate that all the jobs I had. You know, mm. all the time working in these restaurants, getting up early, sometimes working two jobs all day long. Wow. You know, so I appreciate. It's exhausting. It. Yeah, but the last job I had was super fun. My boss was super cool. We we just be drinking beers at work, and it was fun. We had a good time. He he was a he was a really nice guy, and he treated me well. And Aww. you know, so you know. So, was it a difficult transition for you to move from? It wasn't difficult, but it was definitely strange. It was kind of weird because it's like, I'll wake up now and I'm like, should I be somewhere? Should I be like showing up to clock in somewhere? You yeah. know what I mean? I think I'm getting over it now, but like, it was kind of strange at first, you know, because I've, I've just been working for years, you know, so. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's a grind. It, it's, a, it's a grind. Yeah, no, that's crazy. I feel like I, I basically work um, remote too, so I wake up whenever. But it's yeah. like weird not having like a set schedule. It's like, so yeah. do I need to right, I know. wake up or am yeah, I just chilling? <laughs> yeah, especially now with like everything changing and a lot of people are, uh, a lot of businesses are just like, all right, we're fully work from home now, you know? Yeah. It's strange, but I think it's good. I have one last question for you. What do you want to be remembered for? I think I want to be remembered just for being a risk taker i want to be the guy and you know there, there's a lot of artists who are big risk takers and i always appreciate that i see it and you know i appreciate that whoever's out there doing that you know and i want to be one of those people i want to take risks i want to try new things and sometimes already in in my career it's it hasn't worked out you know mm -hmm. some people don't you know maybe a song doesn't get received well but hey you know I gave it a shot and uh, I think that's that's just a good outlook to have that's the outlook I've always had you know just keep keep things fresh keep the music fresh and uh, I like to keep people guessing you know what's he gonna drop I think next? you definitely do that with your music <laughs> yeah yeah I think that's just how it is I want to be remembered for that you know yeah so. no I feel like you'd rather try and fail than not try at all of course always good yeah. to know well 100%. on that note thank you for joining us on the interview for sidewalk talk today Thanks and we'll see you next time bye